They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. As we look up at the sun, we are reminded of the immense power and energy that it radiates across our solar system. It's hard to think about something that could beat our sun, yet beyond our own star lies a cosmic wonder that makes even the mightiest of solar giants seem small beetle just a massive red supergiant star with its immense diameter. Irregular pulsations and unpredictable behavior Betelgeuse is a star that defies. Easy explanation leaving scientists in awe of its power and potential but while studying this magnificent star they've landed on something terrifying. Join us as we dig deeper into what the James Webb Telescope just found and how it might change everything most people don't know this but you can actually see Betelgeuse in the sky if you're looking up at the night sky during the winter months in the northern hemisphere you can't miss it just take a peek at the constellation Orion and we'll spot it. As the reddish-orange star that marks the upper left corner of the constellation's rectangular shape, it's one of the largest and brightest stars in the night sky, so it's hard to miss. But if you've ever really noticed it, you'd know that the star doesn't actually stay constant. While at its peak, it's one of the brightest stars. Sometimes it loses a bit of its sparkle. That's not just happenstance you see, while to us from here it just looks like. Another star, it's not first of all, it's over 640 light. Years away from us now, that might not seem like a lot at first glance, but it's a huge distance in fact if you were to travel at the speed of light, which unfortunately we can't, it would still take you over 640 years to reach Betelgeuse, and if you wanted to travel there in a spacecraft, even our fastest ones would take over 12 million years to get there, that's longer than the entire history of human civilization on Earth. But, but distance isn't the reason why the light changes all the time, Betel. Jew is what we call a pulsating red supergiant, which basically means that it's a big old star that expands and contracts, and when it does it can get brighter or dimmer in the night sky, the changes in brightness can happen over a long period of time, anywhere from tens to hundreds of days. What's even crazier is that Betelgeu can vary in brightness from almost plus 0.52 as bright as magnitude zero, that's a pretty big range. These changes happen in cycles, with the shortest one being 185 days, and the longest being 2,335 days, sometimes Betelgeuse can get really dim, this is what we call of band magnitude, and in February 20121, it was reported to have its lowest band magnitude in a while, which was a magnitude of plus one. 614, that's still pretty bright, but it's definitely dimmer than what we're used to seeing from Betelgeuse, but brightness isn't the only thing it's known for Betelgeuse's distinctive reddish color, is due to its cool surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin which is much cooler than our sun's surface temperature of 5,500 Kelvin this lower temperature, also means that Betelgeuse emits much less energy per unit of surface area than the sun, which is why it appears much dimmer despite being one of the largest stars known to us. It's like the giant who's happy to be low-key and doesn't need to show off their size to feel important, but don't let Betel's laid-back nature fool you. It's still a supergiant star that's around 20 times more massive than our sun. That's partly the reason why the star is so well studied. You see Betelgeuse has been a prominent object in the night sky for centuries. It was first identified by the ancient Greek astronomer TMY, and its Arabic name means the armpit of Orion, and while back when it was named, there was only so much you could know about it, modern telescopes have owed researchers to study this phenomenon in greater detail by analyzing the light emitted by Betelgeuse astronomers, have been able to determine many of its properties, such as its size, temperature, and composition. The Hubble Space Telescope has provided detailed images of Betelgeuse surface revealing intricate patterns of gas and dust. These observations have allowed researchers to create models of the star's behavior and predict its future evolution. Betelgeuse has also been studied using the ATAC, large millimeter slash submillimeter array, also known as ALMA, a cutting edge observatory in Chile. ALMA has provided high resolution images of Betelgeuse surface, revealing new details about the star structure and behavior. One of the most exciting discoveries made using ALMA is the presence of a vast plume of gas extending from the star surface. This plume, which is thought to be caused by Betelgeuse pulsations, may help explain the star's unusual behavior and how it's changing all the time Betelgeuse pulsations are caused by a process called convection in which hot gas rises and cooler gas sinks. This motion creates waves that travel through the star's atmosphere, causing it to expand and contract with the Hubble Space Telescope. We've got detailed images of Betelgeuse surface revealing intricate patterns of gas and dust. These observations have allowed researchers to Create models of the star's behavior to figure out how it might behave in the future beat juice surface is also covered in dark spots, also known as star spots or magnetic spots, which are areas on the surface of the star where the magnetic field is particularly strong. These regions are cooler than the surrounding gas because the magnetic field inhibits the flow of hot gas from the star's interior to its surface. This creates a sort of cooling effect that makes the spots appear darker than the 
surrounding gas, the magnetic field on Betelgeuse is believed to be several thousand times stronger than the magnetic field on the Sun. The strong magnetic field causes gas on the surface of the star to become trapped in loops or arcs, creating regions of intense magnetic activity that are visible as dark spots. The presence of star spots is not unique to Betelgeuse. Many stars, including our own Sun, have them, however, the star spots on. Betelgeuse are particularly interesting because they are much larger and more numerous than those on the Sun. The spots on Betelgeuse can be several times the size of Earth and cover up up to 20% of the star surface. The presence of star spots can also affect a star's brightness and cause it to vary over time. This is because the spots are cooler and therefore emit less light than the surrounding gas. As the star rotates, the spots move in and out of view, causing the overall brightness of the star to fluctuate. In the case of Betelgeuse, the star's pulsations also play a role in its brightness variations as the star expands and contracts the spot can move in and out of view further contributing to the star's variability one of the craziest things is that Betelgeuse isn't as one of a kind as you might think there may not be many stars exactly like it but there are some that share some similarities and are just as fascinating one of Betelgeuse's cosmic cousins is Anareza Red supergiant located in the Scorpius constellation Andars is also a variable Star meaning it changes its brightness over time like Betelgeuse Anares is massive about 12 times more massive than the Sun and has a radius that's about 700 times larger than the Sun so it's pretty safe to say that Anares is no shrinking violet another star that's often compared to Betelgeuse is Musei also known as the Garnet Star located in the Sus constellation Musei is one of the largest known stars in the universe with a radius that's about 1650 times larger than the Sun like Bibiju. And Antares Musei is a variable star and is one of the brightest stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Although Betelgeuse is unique in its own way, these stars are equally intriguing in their own right. Each star has its own set of properties and characteristics that make it distinct, and it's fascinating to study them all and compare their differences to explain the difference we're going to be using our sun as the point of comparison because that's something we all know plenty about while Betelgeuse and Hares and Musei are all red supergiant. Stars, they each have their own unique properties and characteristics that set them apart from one another. One of the main differences between the three stars is their size. Betelgeuse, for example, has a radius of about 1,000 times that of the Sun, while Anares has a radius of about 700 times that of the Sun. Musei, on the other hand, is even larger with a radius of about 1,650 times that of the Sun. Another differ between the three stars is their brightness. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the night sky with an apparent magnitude that Varies between 0.0, .0 and 1.3 Andars fluctuates in the same general range too but can get slightly brighter at times Musei is much brighter though with an apparent magnitude that varies between 3.4 and 5.1 the stars also differ in their mass Betelgeuse is estimated to have a mass of about 11 times that of the sun while Antares is thought to have a mass of about 12 times that of the sun. Making them around the same size and brightness Musei however is much more massive with a mass estimated to be. Around 20 times that of the Sun finally each star has its own unique set of properties and behavior Betelgeuse as we've discussed earlier on in the video too is known for its pulsations which causes its brightness to vary over time and Teres on the other hand is surrounded by a massive cloud of gas and dust which may help explain its unusual behavior even though it's technically brighter than Betelgeuse the dust and clouds around it. Keep it from appearing as bright Musei meanwhile is known for. It's extreme luminosity which makes it one of the brightest stars in the galaxy but it's not as volatile as Betelgeuse you see while we've mentioned the pulsations, the color, and the overall behavior of the star already there's one thing that but all of that ends up meaning it's that a supernova is imminent and it might be coming up fast now when you first hear of it a star going supernova might sound like an extraordinary occurrence and it is but it's actually a natural part of a star's life. Cycle you see when a massive star like Betelgeuse reaches the end of its life, it can no longer sustain the nuclear reactions that have kept it shining for so long. When this happens, the core of the star collapses under its own gravity, triggering a catastrophic explosion known as a supernova. During this explosion, the star can shine as brightly as an entire galaxy for a brief period of time before fading away into the cosmic background. This process releases an enormous amount of energy which can be detected across the universe by telescopes and other instruments now you might be wondering if a supernova were to occur in Betelgeuse how would it affect us here on Earth well the good news is that Betelgeuse is located over 600 light years away from us so even if it were to go supernova we wouldn't be in any immediate danger in fact it would likely be quite a spectacular sight to behold from our vantage point on Earth however there are some other potential effects to consider a nearby Supernova could produce a burst of high-energy radiation known as gamma rays that could temporarily strip away part of our ozone layer, exposing us to increased levels of ultraviolet radiation from the sun. This could have serious consequences for Earth's atmosphere and climate, but the likelihood of this happening is relatively low and would depend on the specific details of the supernova event in any case astronomers. 
are keeping a close eye on Betelgeuse and other stars in the final stages of their lives to better understand this process and its potential impact on our galaxy and beyond as we continue to explore and study the universe we're constantly learning new things about the stars and other celestial objects that fill it with wonder and intrigue Betelgeuse is just one example of the incredible diversity and complexity of the cosmos and each new discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe and the role that stars like Betelgeuse play in shaping its history and future. Betelgeuse's potential supernova event has intrigued astronomers and researchers for years. While it's impossible to predict exactly when such an event might occur, studying stars like Betelgeuse helps us understand the life cycles of massive stars and the processes that lead to supernova explosions. These explosions are not just spectacular cosmic events. They also play a crucial role in the universe's evolution by dispersing heavy elements created in the star's core throughout space. These elements are essential for the formation of new stars, planets, and even life itself. The study of supernovae is not just about understanding the mechanics of stellar explosions. It also sheds light on fundamental questions about the origins of the universe. Supernovae serve as cosmic beacons, allowing astronomers to measure distances to faraway galaxies and study the expansion of the universe itself. By observing supernovae at different stages of their evolution, scientists can piece together a timeline of cosmic history and gain insights into the forces shaping our universe on the largest scales. As we look towards the future, advancements in technology and observational techniques promise to reveal even more about supernovae and their role in the cosmos. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the upcoming Giant Magellan Telescope, GMT, will provide unprecedented views of distant stars and galaxies, allowing astronomers to study supernovae with unprecedented detail and clarity. In conclusion, while Betelgeuse's potential supernova captures our imagination and raises questions about the universe's vastness and complexity, it also serves as a reminder of the dynamic nature of stars and the ever-changing cosmos. By studying stars like Betelgeuse, astronomers continue to push the boundaries of our understanding, uncovering new mysteries and deepening our appreciation for the wonders of the universe. Thus, the study of Betelgeuse and its potential supernova is not just a scientific endeavor but a journey of discovery that enriches our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it.